Hello everybody, welcome to another edition of Johnny Vlogs. I'm John Lorden, and today's episode is brought to you by new Patreon supporter, Rachel Kramer. Thank you so much for the support, Rachel. I appreciate each and every one of you that is uh, so kind to help support me on Patreon, as well as the rest of you that are viewers that help me with views and ad revenue and all that. I just, I really, I'm very happy to be able to do something like this and be a part of this whole YouTube thing. And that couldn't have happened without you guys. As a matter of fact, I've kind of hit a new milestone. Um, I am getting a new computer, finally. Uh, this one that I've been using is years and years old, and I'm not sure if you've noticed, but in some of the videos you can actually hear the CPU fan whirring up. Um, people have commented they think that that's my wife vacuuming. <laughs> <laughs> nope, it's my CPU fan. Uh, and I've been having some trouble, like I've had to stay on, uh, you know, I use Adobe Premiere Pro for editing every one of these videos. And I've had to stay on the 2014 version, the 2015 version just would not work with the hardware that was in my PC. So I finally have been able, I've made enough money and I've been able to put some of that towards a new computer. So I just wanted to thank each and every one of you for being a part of that. Uh, the new computer, I sprung for a special cooling fan for the CPU. Um, I don't actually, I don't know if it's a fan or if it's a water-based system, but it was expensive uh, <laughs> and it's supposed to be virtually noiseless. So I'm hoping that'll help. I know you guys can't see it, but I have a cabinet that my computer actually sits in behind me. And when I film, I usually um, take a blanket and kind of put it in the cabinet door and close the cabinet just to try to buffer some of that noise. Uh, and sometimes it works better than others, but once that fan starts going, it's just super annoying. So I'm glad to have that worked out and of course be able to get on the latest and greatest version of Premiere. And uh, who knows what new tricks I'll be able to find in that when I'm editing these things for you guys. So thank you so much. Um, I want to also thank you if you have already or if you are planning on voting today. If you are here in the U.S., um, I'm definitely going out. It's one of the first things we did when we moved out here to Minnesota, got registered, and I really don't care who you're voting for. I just care that you're a part of the process. Um, so if you have or if you're going to, thank you so much. And to the rest of the world that's outside of the U.S., um, maybe I want to say, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I mean, this election has been one of the most ridiculous things I've ever seen in my life. Um, that is our process, but I just can't believe how much attention it's been grabbing worldwide. Um, it's one of the kind of nastiest fights that I've, I think we've seen in an election in a very, very long time. Um, so, well, the noise is going to be over very quickly <laughs> as of either later today if you're watching this on Tuesday uh, or possibly early tomorrow. I think we'll finally know who the new president of the U.S. is. Uh, if there's anything that I hope um, both parties have learned from this round, uh, it's that we really need some better candidates. I, I think that there's a lot of us here in the U.S. that feel like um, we're picking between the lesser of two evils, and that feels like we're choosing from a place of weakness, which I would really like to get around that corner and feel like we move to a place of having two really strong candidates and actually looking at their platforms uh, a bit more than the um, dirt that they've been digging up on each other. But that's the kind of election this has been. But uh, in any regard, if you're a part of this process, thank you guys for, for partaking in it. Um, I'm a first generation American, so uh, I know it's something that is uh, definitely a part of being here in the US and I'm looking forward to participating in that process myself. Now, outside of all that, um, I just wanted to have a little heart to heart with you guys. It's weird because I've been kind of reworking the format of the channel and it seems to be a good thing. There's uh, many of you that seem to like it. The views are up. Uh, Case Cracked seems to be a success, um, but I feel like there's been a bit of disconnection between me and you guys a little bit, so I just wanted to talk about that and address it. One of the other changes that I've made recently is, I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm kind of gearing the Johnny Vlogs shows um, based on certain topics that are kind of in that same mystery or conspiracy or um, supernatural vein. 
And I feel like I'm losing just being able to fire up the camera and just say, hey guys, what's up? Here's what's going on. <laughs> you know, uh, Here's what's going on with my life. Hey, I'm getting a new computer or whatever. So for this episode of Johnny Vlogs in particular, and I want to keep this in mind, so I'll probably do this more often. Um, I'm going to do this one just a bit more informal. And I know that in the comment thread, some of you have been asking, you know, hey, is everything okay with John? He seems... It seems like something's weighing on him or something like that. Um, to be honest, picking up the third Brain Scratch show has been a lot more work than I thought it would be. Um, it, it's hard because I have a production schedule that I have to do a certain amount of research on specific days to just to get you know a searchlight out. Then I have almost two days of research that I have to do for a regular full-blown 30 to 45 minute episode of Brain Scratch. And Case Cracked, while I made it a bit of a lighter format show, it's shorter, it's usually only about 10 minutes, the amount of work that goes into it is actually pretty considerable. It's one of the few shows that I have to practically completely script out um, because it's so concise, but also because the research window is so much smaller. Uh, I don't get as intimate with the story as I do when I'm researching for two days and looking all over the place and watching footage and reading tons of articles about a particular case. So for Case Cracked, uh, it's, it's a different type of research that I have to do. It's a bit more intense, it's on a shorter time frame, and because of that, I wind up having to script it out. And it's also tough to research cases like that. They're kind of hard to find. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's cases that are solved all the time, but to find a good story where you can talk about whatever happened and then know the linchpin, kind of the, the primary piece of information that cracks that case, that isn't always made public. Um, so it's been, in terms of just researching those types of stories, it's been a bit challenging. And what's happened is, that has kind of added a day of research to my overall workload and now it's starting to bleed into the weekend where before I was very good about not doing official work on the weekends but I would always be sure to reply to tweets and to check on my comments and kind of stay connected with you guys and now that I have official work production work happening on the weekends I'm getting to the point where I just need it like a day off so Saturday I'm kind of hardly checking my email. I'm not checking Twitter that often. I'm not getting to check in on your comments on YouTube. And that whole thing has started this process where I just feel like I'm getting more and more disconnected from you guys. So it's a bit tough. I don't quite know what the answer is yet. Like I used to be able to check comments very regularly and feel like I was keeping up with you guys pretty well. And as the audience has kind of expanded, um, that has naturally become tougher and tougher, but really adding this third, this third brain scratch show has just made it almost impossible. And it's kind of breaking my heart because I believe in those comments. I believe that that is a very important piece, for, particularly for brain scratch, because I want to see your feedback. I want to see the new information you guys are providing. And sometimes we have new episodes that happen because of that. Um, and I feel like I'm missing that right now because I'm so busy doing my own research. I've got my head kind of buried in just research for searchlight, two days of brain scratch, and then a day on case cracked. And oh, by the way, I'm also have to, you know, try to find a documentary, watch that for you guys, shoot the review on that, and then kick on the camera and, you know, figure out a topic and shoot a Johnny Vlogs. It's really, it's started creeping into a point where I don't quite know what to do with it yet. So I'm going to try to work with it. Um, for at least a few more weeks and see if I could figure out some mechanisms to make that research a bit easier. I was very fortunate that I had uh, Christy Strasinger help with the Halloween episode. I had a lot of research help around the Halloween episodes, not just for Case Cracked, but around that whole stretch. Um, but I need to see if there's some way where I can find this and make it work a bit easier for me so that it can free up some of my time so I can get back to those comments and feel more connected to you guys. Because honestly, that is the biggest thing that's weighing on me. It sucks because the views are there. I know you guys like the show format. Um, and even in terms of how much work it is on me, I think if I work with it for a couple more weeks, I might be able to make that manageable 
but for I think we're nine or ten episodes in on Case Cracked right now, it's kind of been a tough run. It's it's really been a hard stretch for these past ten weeks. So um, I don't know. That's kind of where I'm at with it right now. Maybe if I need to change something, maybe it'll get to the point where I do a searchlight one week, I do a case cracked the following week and turn that into a bit of a longer format, like a 20 minute episode, like I do a searchlight or something. I, I definitely have ideas that I could fall back to, but I'd really like to keep that third show every week for you guys. So I'm going to work with it a little bit longer and see if I can make that happen. Now, something you guys have also been talking about is YouTube burnout. And here I am coming up on, um, God, is it three years? Am I going into my fourth year? Somewhere around there. And quite honestly, I haven't really taken a break. Uh, I have had periods where I've like planned trips and stuff like that, but I've always done extra episodes ahead of time, which basically just means that I'm working a lot more <laughs> before I take some time off. Um, so that's not quite the same as just, you know, taking a week off or something like that. And many of you are talking about that in the comments. And just know that um, I'm certainly considering that. I think that before the end of the year, I will probably take a week off somewhere. Um, I'll be sure to talk about it here in Johnny Vlogs so you guys know that it's coming up. Um, and then next year, I already know that I've got this kind of big family re retreat that's going on. So I will likely take some time off around that. And uh, it's just, it's weird because it's like starting a new business, you know, you want to work as hard as you can and get this thing going and get it off the ground and make sure that people are enjoying it and it's all working right. Um, and you stay focused on that and all of a sudden you turn around and it's three years later and it's like, oh, that's right, I forgot, you know, this, this is now gone from something that was kind of hobby-ish to something that is really uh, more than a full-time job and I need to make sure that I take care of myself because no one else is going to. I don't have some boss that's beating my head saying, hey, you have too much PTO, you have to take some time off. So I gotta do that for myself. So know that I am hearing you guys. Thank you so much for talking about that in the comments. Um, that's one of the reasons why it's so important for me to have time to actually get to the comments. The best comments are the ones where uh, you guys might not even know it, but there's something inside me that's already tickling and then I read what you're saying about it and all of a sudden it's like a snap happens in my head and I go, oh man, they're right. I need to take care of that and I need to address that. Um, so thank you for pointing that out and know that um, I'm here. I am listening as much as I can. I'm gonna work with this. I'm gonna see if I can get this balance to work a little bit better. I really like my weekends back because that, you know, when it's more relaxed, it's way easier for me to uh, jump in and look at a bunch of YouTube comments and reply to those uh, keep up to date on my Twitter and all that It's just so much more relaxed. So I need to get my production schedule back to as close to Monday through Friday as possible. So that's the challenge and I'm working on it um, And that's I guess That's about the channel update uh, Other than that things are going really good. Um, I've got a friend that has been working on an Elisa Lam related video series that he's going to be releasing soon. I'll let you guys know as more developments happen on that. I went down and shot for a day with them. We had a nice big talk about that case and why it resonates so much with everybody. Um, but uh, other than that, business as usual. Brain scratch, brain scratch, brain scratch. Thank you guys for being there. Thank you for caring and talking about it. And uh, just know that you're a critical, critical part of all this, and I truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you're having a great week. I'll catch you on the next show on the Lord and Arch channel.